Okay, hello and uh, welcome to uh, the presentation by Modvion, um, the uh, company in Sweden that are trying to find a solution to create uh, wooden towers for wind turbines. Um, the guy that you see on the screen is me, Per Hallgren, Head of Sales and Procurement at uh, Modvion. Background from um, multiple companies, the scale ups to to large uh, multinational corporations, uh, um, but but now my full focus in, is of course to help and support uh, Modion in succeeding in providing uh, wooden towers uh, made out of LVL to the uh, world market. So Modion, I don't know if you have heard about us. Um, we are a uh, company that has existed for six years now. Uh, the guy in the middle, David Olivegren, uh, an architect from Gothenburg, Sweden, uh, he used to build uh, wooden boats um, and um, saw potential that uh, in, in the marine industry were actually altering with the structure of wood and creating uh, round shapes um, and had an idea uh, to actually use engineered wood in uh, by different means in different uh, structures uh, and he took this idea to uh, Chalmers uh, the technical university in uh, Gothenburg in 2015 uh, with this idea and and uh, hoped that the entrepreneur school uh, of Chalmers should accept this idea and, and give him resources to to see if he had something in his idea and he was accepted uh, luckily, and since then, uh, he and a, a team uh, of uh, three students back then, uh, where Otto, our CEO, is still uh, on board, uh, started to create Modvion uh, with the mission to convince the world that high demanding structures uh, can be constructed out of wood. And so, so I mean, now we're, today we will talk about the Modvion uh, wind power towers. Um, and we see that as our first commercial product, um, but, but it really in, in the core of the, of the company uh, is to, to find solutions to, to convince the world and show the world that high demanding structures can be constructed out of wood. Um, so so uh, I guess um, in a couple of years, you will see Modvion, more Modvion products than, uh, than uh, only uh, wind power towers. So, I mean, today we are all, uh, we know the situation where we're all, all or in, we need to, to be more friendly to the environment. Uh, we need to find uh, alternative ways to produce energy. Um, and we also know that the amount of electricity that will be needed uh, going forward will, will uh, increase. And um, today, wind is seen as a key resource to secure uh, enough electricity to the world. And um, the, the wind power uh, area is, is, I mean, it's a clean uh, energy uh, when the turbine is up and running, but uh, it still has uh, its emissions during production. And uh, this is where Modvion comes in to actually help the market to reach higher um, with, with wind turbines, uh, both to be able to mount larger turbines, but also to reach more uh, steady and good winds uh, to increase the output uh, from the wind, wind turbines. The, these, the maps you see in front of you uh, is, is two good examples where Sweden is on the left-hand side and US on the right-hand side. Uh, uh, what, what happens if you increase the, the height of the uh, of the hub, the the, the wind turbine, and uh, how how much more area of the both the two countries, and that actually is feasible for uh, for wind powers uh, wind power systems installed. So in Sweden, if you would increase the altitude to forty meters, uh, you you would basically have full full area of Sweden with possible to to install wind turbines. To put this into perspective, um, I mean, we do, a, we do a wooden stick, someone calls it, or, or mm -hmm. um, and, and yes, we do a wooden stick, a wooden tower. Um, the, the tower is between 100 and 200 meters tall, 
uh, the weight of a tower uh, for the smaller ones then uh, is 200 tons for the bigger ones is 700 tons um, the uh, the turbine on top weighs a couple of hundred tons and the diameters, the largest diameters for the onshore turbines today is just above 160 meters. And then you add on the environment. Uh, you have the weather, you have temperatures, you have winds, fires, animals. Um, the, so the tower structure is really a, uh, uh, it's a complex loading, loaded uh, structure with dynamic forces and static forces. Um, that uh, the, uh, the the towers has to withstand, um, which of course is a challenge, uh, but it's also uh, um, um, one of the great things to actually show that these type of structures could actually be built out of wood if you do it in a correct way um, and replace the steel uh, of today. So from Modrium perspective, what, what do we have to do or, or what have we done to bring these towers uh, for, for these large wind turbines to the market? Um, we need LVL. Uh, we don't see any other solution, uh, wooden solution that actually could, could replace these large steel structures. Uh, and we use softwood. Uh, you need a lot of innovative mindset. Uh, you need a lot of advanced engineering. You need really supportive and good suppliers, and and of course, of course, supporting customers to to that are willing to actually show the world that you could replace steel with with more sustainable material. Um, and last but not least, of course, we need the, our great employees within the company to to do this together. If we then jump into LVL and, and how LVL uh, can support in this is that uh, if you look at the material characteristics, comparing LVL with the steel used in, in tower structures, uh, the characteristics in LVL is really, really, really good and really feasible for these, this type of structure. Uh, if you compare the uh, um, strength, um, uh, with, weight, with weight, the LVL weighs less than steel uh, if you look at the characteristic strengths, char characteristics needed. Um, the CO2 emissions, as we all know, uh, is that uh, the, the, the wood, the LVL, not only uh, emits less, it actually stores CO2. And the uh, material uh, also enables us to construct the towers in an efficient modular way, um, which is a key for the market that we are aiming at. Um, the left hand side picture shows you the transport, how the conventional steel towers are transported today. Uh, the picture on the right hand side shows you the, the modular construction that, that Modvian has constructed, where you bring uh, the modules to the site of the wind turbine and then you first have a pre-assembly step um, where you then take the modules into sections um, and then you erect the sections on top of each other to create a tower. Uh, so the, basically the, what differs us from conventional steel towers or concrete towers uh, are the fact that we, we have this pre-assembly step from modules to two sections. Uh, the section erection as such is actually fairly similar. Um, if we look at the, the, the Modvion timeline and, and where we are at and, and what we have done uh, and what we are aiming at achieve going forward is that we, I mean, last year in 2020, we erected our first tower and that was a collaboration between Modvion and Chalmers uh, Technical University, which is a research platform for the university today. Um, that is a 30 meter tower with a small turbine on top. Um, we are just about to start the production of our first full scale tower, you could say, uh, which will be a 105 meter high tower um, that will have a, a two megawatt turbine. It's a, it's a Vestas turbine. Um, which um, a couple of years ago was the, com the commercial turbine and, and really good size 
today it is uh, still a, a commercial product uh, they but it's a small turbine today uh, but it's a good step for us to prove that the lvl tower uh, the wooden tower uh, that it's possible um, and as as um, to kick off to the to the towers of today uh, where we're looking at heights of, of 150 meters plus basically um, the company as such uh, have uh, are collaborating with Vestas. Um, Vestas is also uh, an investor in the company. Uh, we are working with Enel, um, one of the biggest energy suppliers in the world. Uh, we are working with Vattenfall, um, big energy provider in, in this region. Uh, European Innovation Council, uh, we, uh, we, we have together with Varbe Energy, and invest us uh, for the first tower being erected, a, a collaboration and are funded uh, partly by, by the European Innovation Council. And as you can see, we, uh, the factory picture uh, in, the, in the area between 2021 and 2022, we are just about to finalize the, uh, the setup, the um, production line uh, for 100 meter towers. Uh, our ambition is to establish a bigger one uh, somewhere in mid mid end 2023 uh, to be able to start to produce higher volumes more towers um, more, more serial, serialized production um, but we really have this uh, the first tower next year as, as a key tower uh, for us and, and from there uh, we, we really look forward to to together with companies such as route to use make use of lvl and see um actually what we can do and what we can achieve together um small picture from uh, from the uh, production of the first tower as you can see this is a rather small one but still it's it's a pure wooden construction uh, all the way through basically um and um that is actually uh, the presentation as I had. I'm looking forward to be in the panel later and then have uh, questions and your thoughts uh, in regards to using LVL for, for these type of structures, uh, where we, of course, uh, um, want to continue ex uh, uh, exploiting the potential with LVL and, and uh, perhaps increase the uh, uh, the usage of it even more. Thank you.